Howdy folks, I'm Nick. I'm sitting here in the stalls of the Athenium Theatre, a sold out Athenium Theatre. I have Chaz, Andrew, Craig and Julian from The Chaser. They're in town in Melbourne at the very end of their uh, ex very successful run with their Age of Terror variety show. The story is you've put on hold the war and everything in order to do the Age of Terror variety hour. Is it? Did you um? Did you just like run out of material or yes, what? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Couldn't you tell from the last show? <laughs> you read about these Hollywood actors. They get it, you know, they win an Oscar and then they decide, well, that, that medium's done. I'm going to go tread the boards for a while. We deeply crave the um, legitimacy that doing kind of two-minute comedy sketches in big silly costumes and songs can give you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, a lot of credibility. This is our Hamlet. Ever since we won the Wheels Magazine TV Show of the Year award, that's just gone straight to our heads. Yeah. That's yeah. it. He's just gone. retire on the high. Mm. Yeah. And we thought we might as well cash that in because once you've won Wheels Magazine TV of the Year, all theatre goers read that magazine. Mm. It's, it's a highly theatrical production, isn't it? It, is. it really is. Well, yeah, Very deep. Easy. There are cues that we miss. Yeah. Yeah. And I imagine you get to re recycle a whole bunch of jokes as well. Like. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, it's like yeah. going on an archaeological dig. You find gags, you know, from the 1980s, just that we've dug up and brought back to you, you know, yeah. polished them up. Except for rather, yeah, finding bones, we find late show videos from the early yeah. 90s. I've got to mention it, what would a Chaser interview be without mentioning the Apex stunt? It must be a hard one to top, do you know what I mean? In the sense, where do you go through from there? You know, you've, you've all suffered cavity searches at the you know, hands of the federal police now, so <laughs> where do you go from I'm here? very, very happy not to top. Snipers being having their targets pointed at my forehead, you know, like I'm, I'm happy to just go out on that note. We go downhill, that's where we go, until hey, Chaz gets shot. We've got to get convicted once, I mean, mm. every time we try to do these bloody things, we still get away with it, like yeah, some, someone's got to do some serious time. Yeah. Working with these guys <laughs> on the tour him. is kind of like being in a jail, <laughs> so yeah, they, they can comfort themselves with that. So you've got stunts like that, is it really hard for you guys now to like go and buy a loaf of bread somewhere or a <coughs> newspaper and not have the guy behind the counter go, oh? Hang on, wait a minute. I know you guys. Yeah, particularly when I know what's going on. What's actually, that yeah. exact voice, actually. Yeah. 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 It's, it's always that guy. Yeah. <laughs> particularly when you try to uh, buy bread with a large Canadian motorcade, it really puts mm. makes people suspicious. Yeah. Whenever I go up and say, "Can I have a loaf of bread, please?" <laughs> they always get very suspicious. Of what's going on. <laughs> Obviously, Melbourne um, being more cultured has been very successful for you. But this show is not in any way cultural. So if you are a cultural backwater, and I'm not saying you are, you're but probably you going to love it. You'll love it. That's mm. true. Mm. If you, this is bogan heaven, this, this show. Th th this show is <laughs> very much like Kath and Kim and Gladiators and the AFL Grand Final. And the footy show, of but course. But live and on stage. Yeah. Mm. Uh, right, and Pride and Prejudice. Ooh, yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> Thank you very much, The Chaser. <laughs> Thanks, Nick.